Finding the length of a curved line with the help of a divider can be done in three steps. Here are the three steps. First one, you have to adjust the distance between the legs as small as possible and repeat the legs throughout the curve. And find how many number of times it will be repeated and multiply that number with the distance between the legs of the divider that gives you a number but sometimes what happens when you are repeating the situation comes like this where you came up to here and the length of the last part is less than the distance between the legs of the divider then what you have to do you have to consider this as an extra part this is an extra part and you have to measure this extra part separately you have to measure this separately with the help of a scale and write the extra parts length here if you add the extra part to that that will give you the length of the curved line according to the first step we have to adjust the distance between the legs as small as possible why should we take a small distance between them what happens if we take a large distance between the legs let's see that i will consider a large distance between them like this if we repeat the legs of the divider over the curve here you can observe that when we reach the narrow turn a part of the curve is missing it is not coming under the divider here like this then that gives you a wrong value of measurement then what we have to do for that is adjusting the distance between the legs of the divider you can observe that in a curve there are two turns this one is a narrow turn which is sharp and here is a big turn we always have to take the distance between the legs of the divider is equal to the length of the narrow turn as shown here now let us measure the distance between the legs now you can see that the distance between the legs is equal to 6 mm now start repeating the legs of the divider over the curve 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 33 34 35 36 37 38 39 40 41 42 43 44 45 46 47 48 49 50 51 52 53 54 55 56 57 58 59 60 61 62 63 64 65 66 67 68 69 70 71 72 73 74 75 76 77 78 79 80 81 82 83 84 85 86 87 88 89 90 91 92 93 94 95 96 97 98 99 36 you can see that a small part of the curve is left whose length is less than the distance between the legs of the divider now we can write the length is equal to 36 times the 6 mm now we have to add the length of this small part here as an extra length the 36 multiplied by 6 mm gives 216 mm now let us measure the length of that small portion left with the help of divider and you can see that here its length is equal to 3 mm let us add this 3 mm here and the total comes out as 219 mm so the length of the curved line is 219 mm